one yesterday quite convincingly mm -hmm. against pain so for me i feel like carpe diem certainly have a chance here more than some people get started. oh the cz not going to give them a chance in this pistol round though cello takes two running out of bullets let's go for the swap that's not going to be doing that bomb will go down behind the cover of smoke don't go try and deny it he's not going to be able to oh woody what a shot chop chasing oh and woody <laughs> gets another that one's just a lineup. It's all under Wiz now. 1v4 to try and defend. At least they've got that ball money. But Wiz is going to need to be good. And his shots are not yet. Have a perma. He... But apart from that, they're very comfortable playing all remaining six. Jello is comfortable killing everybody. Again. It's now back-to-back -back 2Ks for the man. This time doing it with the SMG. The Moolah. But what a shot for Kalasia. And Woody coming in to clear. And now there's pressure on towards the A site. They've wrapped their tendrils around. They've got the position. The shot's going a little bit ahead. It works out for him. He makes the move ahead of his teammates. A little bit disjointed here, but Classy will be able to come in to exploit the space he's made. That bomb now going down. And Jota on a retake. On, uh, yeah, 0 0.22, in fact, for Woody. So even lower. And those numbers are not great. But, I mean, we watched Carpe Diem play. It wasn't the off that was doing it for him. It was Classy's rifle and Hex the same. Hex is going to get one over on Hex. Oh, he's got another as well. The oh. flashbang's good. That sets him up, and it's all a disaster. It's all falling apart. There's nothing doing in this round so far. And oh, ho, ho, now Wiz's position is revealed. The man you highlighted, he's going to need to step up. Fala, galera. Demarte.com, o melhor site para você trocar suas skins, vender ou também comprar. Galera, muito fácil. Faça o login aqui no site, coloque sua trade link, escolha sua skin, escolha a skin que você queira trocar. Não esquece, rapaziada, o primeiro link da descrição, eu deixei o link do canal, fechou? Você vai fortalecer o canal e, além disso, ganhar vários benefícios. Não se esqueça, primeiro link da descrição e bora pro vídeo. Here comes the play from the hay cart. Wiz has to make the move. He's not always the biggest initiative fragger. This time he gets deleted, trying to take the duel against Turtle. Bodies dropping all onto Walco. A flank will eventually develop, so he has to go forward. But with 20 seconds, sort of a pick your poison type of situation. Out of this one alive and indeed. It's Woody to take him out of play. Yeah, he's he's just trying more to do that. He can kind of throw himself into situations to try and find information out of that uh, sort. Oh, player taking off of the oranges. Jota's just got a little pillar for cover, and he's trying to dodge bullets, but it's just not going to happen. Hex takes him out of play. Now bomb planted with a man advantage. The frags in general, two of them being from scouts. Or from, from the scout, but... Uh, frags, but yeah, that's trying to slow up this play, but it was a little premature. They actually weren't up banana yet. Cello wants them through. Oh, come on through. Let me pull the trigger. Oh, no. They got stuck on him. They realize what's happened in a moment. And down Cello goes. But there's Jota just behind him to put down two. Now they need to cross in towards the site. And this, face. this gets so dangerous. Into the pool goes one. The off is out. But a bullet will put him down. So Walco has to tuck. Now he goes this close at hand. And Jota wants to fly on in. Flashbang effective bullets even more so. Jota just needs one more and he's got it at that. A 4K. Come the... with the SMG. Oh. Interesting. All right. Ooh. I don't know whether that was my perspective or something going on there. It's down and now here's Cello. There's two. He's looking for more. Not going to get it. Traded out, but that's everybody who was over towards B. They lost the spoiler player though, so they do have to funnel in towards the site. Angle is good. Woody just trying to make some noise. Hopefully it dies off the advance. And Aclasia makes a creep. Oh, Woody, the better shot. Wow. All right. Oh, my goodness. Wiz is the last one standing with an op in a 3v1. I don't like his odds unless they approach him one at a time. Time is taken away. There's a chance for Wiz to clutch this one out, but he has to deny the bomb defuser, and that's all he's really focused on. Hits the shot on Woody, pulls up the Glock, and fires away, but it's not enough. Turn a TK! A TK! Oh, no. He doesn't have time! Does he have time? I think he has time. I think he has time. Yeah. If that flank can get into the apartments before this hit comes through. Oh, there's only 24 seconds. It won't. They have to bring the hit through. And that shot oh, goes big wide. Whiff. Big whiff from Woody. Needed to get one there. But exit the pit is such a nuisance for them. They'll clear him out, but not without being traded. It's all in Fasia. And he still needs to play it. Unable to do so. The bomb on the bounce. Don't know if that Molotov was where it was supposed to be there for Carpe Diem. Down banana. Uh, unless they were very specifically trying to clear out that corner, it didn't look like it from the minimap. Yeah. As it is, a tag on Wiz seems to be enough to persuade them not to go for this. There's a gap. Ah, uh, there's a gap. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hex better be careful about that one. No, he's passed. He's fine. But here comes Cello. Through the arch smoke. Finds a kill. 
Shots down that play. And now the shadow spotted. Woody will be able to get that and get away. It's not looking good for Carpe Diem. They're being picked apart on entry to site. And now they're finally making the move. They haven't even they haven't even gone for it yet. And they're so low. They're down to two. And they've got no health on those two. It's a catastrophe for Carpe Diem. They haven't even been allowed to actually go for their hit. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Well, Carpe Diem, only two players left. 21 seconds on the clock. To go back to their winning ways. They're going to take this half, eight to five. Uh, well, Carpe Diem. I have a strong personality trying to make some inroads on site. Might spot exit here. That's an engagement. Chopper's forward, but exit gets the kill. That deals with the apartment player. Exit gets another. He's having a phenomenal game, and he'll go to the Deagles. He tries to hold the line here, knowing how important it is to his team. Rotations are here. Exit still has space and even time to get the reload off. Beautifully played here. Now Turtle comes in to help in with cleanup and it's all falling apart. Just whiz. And he's getting chased. A collateral. What? Oh, is that a triple? Okay, good. Definitely still in this one. Wasn't a blowout first half, but MIB aren't double digits is the opposite of what Carpadian wanted to have out of that first half. Ooh. Okay. Close line shot there from Woody, and it's not looking good right now for Carpe Diem. So much control from the T's, and they've got this bomb ready to go down here in just a moment. Retake going to be required of Wiz and Walco, and the only thing you can say for them is at least they have flashes? Yeah. Lots of flashes. Uh, unfortunately, no armor. So they may just get peppered down by the body shots. Okay, Ooh. good shot for Walco. There's the delete. Knows where the next is as well. Problem is with these tucked-in spots, the flashbangs aren't as effective. Here they're gonna start to clear. Try and catch some players in the whites of their eyes. Add some whites to their eyes, I suppose. And it's not gonna happen. They've thrown their last smoke, they've thrown their last piece, and a smoke's just gone in from the CT side, so they have to go through this. What flashbang to do so? This is a prime opportunity for Carpe Diem, but they still need to get the shots on in. 15 seconds, MIBR have left themselves no room to maneuver here. Uh, and this saving? is going to be a save. It's going to be a save from MIBR. They're bailing on it. It's the correct call. They've got no loss bonus. So this will actually give them a fair amount of money. That's all you need. Couple maps. Three of them. A few maps. Wiz does hit one. There's no time here. They eventually clear out Wiz, but that takes way too much time. And now Jota is trying to get in towards the pit. There's a player in front of him. And they've got no time. They can't even get the spawn plan in seven seconds, six seconds. They have to go. It's already done. It's already done. They can now win this round. Even with that kill, it doesn't much matter once it's Delicious. Oh, God. So good. Oh. That's one of the best things, like, in an airport. Like, on an airplane, <laughs> Bloody Mary mix hits different. You don't need any alcohol in it. Bloody Mary mix hits different. I'm just telling you, the next time you're on a flight, get a can of Bloody Mary mix. Nice kill for Cello. That opens things back up here. It's looking a little depleted, but Wiz once again is going to assert himself. Another pair oh, of frags. And that off. Is, yeah, and at this point, you're round. saving like glass cannon. Your loss bonus is building up. Like It's starting to just really be detrimental. Yeah. Found or uh, Hall's Pop. Hall's Pop. A classic. Coming on through. There's the flashbang. Like coming it. on in. They are in. Wiz in the pit. Gonna be critical here. He's found the first. He drops the bomb. They can't stall out here. They need to be getting on into those fights, and they're stalling out. They're not even getting a chance to shoot back. They're caught in the lane. They're caught in the lane, and they're all dead. <laughs> they don't get onto the site. You have to go. You have to go. Oh my goodness, what is happening to MIPR? I say they just look. They they have their feet stuck in the mud. They they just can't move. They're in quicksand, Mike. Hey, hey, hey. It, it, they change things up. They headed towards A. They had some more pace on it, right? The kill in class, you yes, to be yes. in. But then they just, they stall. It's strange because I felt like they had the edge. Now Chop's going to find exit for free. Then it looked. I mean, we were counting. I was counting Carpe Diem out already. 14-6. I'm like, this is over, but no. It was hitting that moment. But Carpe Diem, they like yeah. to play their CS. They never can get counted out of a map. Not until that final round goes through. Walker Flash, he's getting tacked down. They want to chase this. But they can't find him, and Wiz is going to keep him safe. Smoke's going to go down here. He's just in the corner. Finally, oh, Turtle does bring him down. And the spam through finds Wiz. And that's going to be the crack on round. They win all of the engagements. Now they've got the site. Now they've got the bomb planted. And well, most situations, this would call for a save for the CTs. But the thing is, they've got money, and they don't have rounds. So Classy and Hex are likely going to risk this one. Likely going to go on through and try and recover. And one thing is, I might be able to have a lurk here towards the A site that might be able slow. to come into play. So technically, it's a 2v3 instead of a 2v4. So a chance for Carpe Diem.
to get something done here. Time is taken away, but they have the kits to help them out. The turtles watching them. From in, and Glacio will manage to take him down. So only two players left on the site. Reinforcements are coming, and it's all up to Hexton. I think by the time he goes for this one, he will end up being surrounded and well so, he's dead. taking Turtle down to half. That's a nice return on investment. They're going to go for B. They're going to go for a fight. That's bold, and Turtle finds both. The double entry towards B, when he gets it, has been deadly. But Glacio... 30? 30. Kills out. There they go. There, there. Glacia shut this down. Not a lot of time to spare. There's the first. The second player in pool that drops the bomb. 23 seconds. Gets another gun. Now he's got his offer to support him as well. That got a little bit of crossfire across the site. Oh, he's going to do it. That shot goes wide and whiz connects. It's all falling apart. 10 seconds here. Cello again on a late lurk. It's not gonna happen. MIB. The these two teams have played throughout the playoffs. Yeah. But uh, I just feel like MIBR letting things slip away when they shouldn't. At least uh, here on. That said, they still have a chance to close this up, and that's a great opener. Okay. Opener, excuse me, uh, by Turtle over on Classia. They gain control of Library, and now they're going to pincer on in towards CT. I don't know if Valk was expecting this. Yes, he is. He's flicking back and forth, trying to find the target now, and he can't get anything. There's the five v three. They have a massive advantage, and look where Jota is. Here's all the footsteps. He should be able to close this one out if he connects the shots, but no. He They're going to come back them. to A. They're going to come back to A, though. Oh, I love this. This is the rotation. He's got the control. And Axe will be given more room to maneuver. MIBR repositioning off the site. They're leaving themselves exposed to Arch. I don't know why they're assuming this is clear. But Chop could just kill them all here. And he's going to get a freebie. There's one. Doesn't expect the other to be so close at hand. And that's going to be it. MIBR take it. So can MIBR join them in the lofty pantheon of Brazilian teams to utterly dominate NA Challenger League? <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out. They've overlooked Chop. They've overlooked Chop. There's the first. Chop looking for more. And he gets it as well. Bomb now dropped. They're committed into this long fight. They've already spent their utility as well. The shields are down. They won't be able to use them and they're losing the bodies. This is disaster for MIBR, John. Yeah. Jota and Cello are just stranded on separate parts of the map. They don't have the bomb. And Cello at least gets one, but he's the last one standing here as Chop takes care of business against Jota. 4v1 cello very little chance of success here carpe diem just has to make sure that he doesn't get 1v1s four times and yeah they're gonna make sure of that they already forced him back off of cat they're going for a flank here cello realizing what's going down and well one smoke's gonna get thrown for long corner and they have a couple of players there oh look at this push yeah from chop uh, not necessarily the best of ideas because x is gonna get the opener now classia backs off and does quite a bit of damage on the fadeaway that said go for the long range engagement yeah. Uh, that'll get you. Okay, Hex finds one, knows the setup, reads it, but cannot line up further damage. Health is not good here for my god. That scout is gonna be so deadly. It can't connect. It can't connect, and Wiz is down for the count. Classia, time to make some money. He actually connected on every player, Mike. That's insane. They're so low. And yeah. would be nice if one of those was a headshot. <laughs> a little bit of BM thrown well, in there. Okay, so I'm just gonna say it right now. Yeah. Against a player like Classia. That's just tactical. We know he's had a problem with, uh, even he talked about in his interview last night, he has a problem with getting a little bit too emo, getting mad, shutting okay. down his communication. Uh, it's been a problem for them before. And so if you're the team on the other side, a little bit of the body spam can go a long way. Any weakness that you can exploit can I take through this victory. And right now, they're exploiting long. Two players down for the count. The third committed out towards Car wow. and dropped. It's over. No one come from Carpe Diem could do much. And Jota's just waiting for Chop to come around this corner. This will be an easy frag. Already oh, sees the barrel of the AK. And there you go. Chop looking the wrong way. Glassy the last one standing towards the B site. And you have to expect Jota that will we'll be hunting a little bit further. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, uh, well, I was talking about the, the gentle Goomba stomping oh, yes, onto your right. opponent's head, and that's that's sort of what Noodle does. He just <laughs> gently bops Dodge. Sometimes uh, when they're too rambunctious, he'll just push them down to the, like to, to just 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 pins them with one paw. <laughs> Speaking of which, Classy got pinned in this one. Walco, a little bit of an answer, but not as long. It is traded. Walco. Okay. Making some noise in CT. It's a cheeky spot. And look at this play top mid. Hex has another. The bomb is here, but ooh, can't be punished. It's a two on two, and these players are isolated towards either side. They need someone to step up in a big way. Walko might try to come forward to catch these players if they go through the mid door. He's going to go through. Is he going to go through? Oh my goodness, it works out. Walko! Oh, 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 oh. 
Good flashbang time, but they haven't gotten into Hex yet. 30 seconds. He'll have to reveal his position now. And they're here to trade, but they're swinging one by one. Hex could shut this down. He could just keep the bomb from getting here. And they're already going to rotate the bomb. Catwalk, but there's somebody here. And oh, Classia is holding court now. It's all falling apart. They don't have time. MIBR. Going to lose this one to the clock again. I'm surprised. Uh, I was about to compliment MIVR and say, I like the pace of play. Everything's going really well for them. And they really put their foot on the brake and decide to go a little too slow. Job. As soon as number called, can he stand up? Smoke goes down preemptively. Flashbangs as well. He's dancing around, trying to find time. And he's living in this for now, but now he's out in the open. As that flashbang fades, he'll be the first to find a kill. He's been maneuvering for a long time. Allows his teammate to get over, but still a one and done for Classy. And this is going to be really tough. On the retake, Wiz has to wait for his teammates. He goes the rifle, but Amali is going down further, and that bomb is ticking away now, John. This is a round they came into with two rifles and a pistols. And it's uh, it's turned out pretty darn good for them. Does Carpe Diem fancy the retake? They're running out of util to make it happen. One more flashbang can be sent over, but that'll be the last. They're going to try. Running out of time, running out of clock. Walker smoked off. He'll have to come in. He's going to go through, and here it goes. There's the flashbang to get him in the door, but they've been shut down. It's all into Hex, and he's out of time. He's out of time. Indeed. Force buys. Working beautifully for both sides here. Carpe Diem, if they can seal the deal on this, will reset the momentum for sure. Turtle does not let that happen. Still scout on site. Wiz not connecting on that one. He'll get some more shots, but he's got to be careful here. Rotation's coming in, but they're coming from Calwalk, and it takes them a bit of time to get here. Now they're on. Now he's been here. Here's the lineup, though. Only one done. The found AK for Colossia is putting in work now. Where do you want to to take this? Fight in mid. He won't Ooh. finish. It, they know where the players are. They know where all three are at this point. They have the information. Colossia was at. The scout in Hex's hands. Catwalk. Chop somewhere towards B. How do they operate with this info? This is still very recoverable. Yeah, they have lots of time in it. <laughs> nice shot, though. Yeah, Hex will tag Chilla down. But uh, MIBR at this point probably committed towards the A site. They're trying to throw the mid to B smoke to convince Carpe Diem that they're going towards the B site, but they're not buying it at all. Our Carpe Diem class, he is just holding his ground here on the A site. Flashbang is tossed on over 18 seconds left. Cello does connect on Hex, so now there's an opportunity. Now take down Classia as well. That's a very tall order. Classia gets the headshot, but Exit does indeed buy the trade. 1v1, enough time to plant this bomb. Chop has to come in from CT as well. Oh, Exit could clutch this one out. 59 HP versus 34, and Chop only has a deagle. The shot has to be absolutely on point. It is a good read for Chop. Oh! And he hits it! It's body shots that work out, in fact. Oh, 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 oh. Somebody stay here in a moment. Shut up. <laughs> oh, it's chaos! But Hex sets him up to knock them down. That's a two-piece in towards mid in full control of the position. Classy will even go forward to clear out tunnels to give that information over to his team. And for now, it's going to be Wiz posted up with the off, and he collects. That was such a good setup for Carpe Diem. Look where Classy is. He's already rotated around on the flank. He should have a free one here, and he does. Woody is down for the count. Classy has got two. Looking to make it three as exit will soon be completely surrounded. Classy might stick around that bomb just to make sure. No it's not catastrophic and Jota trying to get in towards the pit that's a little bit bold this is so messy oh he's through he's through he's through the smoke this player by blue dumpster what's even happened here Jota comes back he might get this kill but no Walco will keep Classia clean well worth it and they clean out the dumpster player as well I mean, they still have a couple of Molotovs here, so that's a path on four. And Classia gets one. Walco turns Woody to Nitty Bitty Crisp, and now they're back to buy his lonesome. And that will be that. Mike Walco finds the last. They should be able to get this. For the moment's getting stumped a bit by this Carpe Diem side. We'll see if they can rally and recuperate on their map pick here in the second half. That's a good shot from Jello. He breaks <laughs> the graffiti out right away. <laughs> Jeez. Maybe just marking his spot so he knows. Oh, Jota goes in. One and done. But still the one. And the info certainly gained is going to start to send the rotator over the terminal. Mm -hmm. That could open up enough space at the very least for them to get a bomb plan here, Mike. Woody. Oh. Let me get this next shot. This would be huge. 
Drops this player Gandalf. It's very tough for them to get that bomb planted. Here's a flank. Gone oh, no. though. Ah, oh. can't see it through. The low HP class here could not hang on. And the numbers still do favor, and the catwalk flank is good, but what? no! Where are those kills? So this is going to be the play. Player boosted up just outside. Cello is a distraction. Well, he's got the off. I don't know if he's quite a distraction. But he is going to draw focus. And now Exit can capitalize. Getting stalled out. The reinforcements are here. The spray on in. It's all into Hex, and he is low, and he doesn't seem like he fancies this one. Bomb down. Bomb drop. Is there going to be a Damage save? Though, Mike. Oh my goodness, Chop and Hex and Glassia all going down so low, but they do find a trade after Woody gets that opener, and that's hey, space game. They're going to risk it. They've got the money to spare, so they want to make this happen, but a good flashbang timing doesn't work out, and they've actually taken down two. That looked like a good play for Carpe Diem. It was well-timed, but they didn't have it. Still, did buy time. It did buy time. They got Glassia out towards long. Wiz is going to need to hit. He's missed the first. He's got the second though. Did you realize you this down low? What he may not care. Point. MIBR are going to completely concede long to Carpe Diem. And Jota does get the op frag against Wiz to make it a 4v4. Even Steven. But he's got a chance to give him an advantage to his squad. And he gets it. Classy has dropped. He's going to come through again. Chop doesn't go down. And Dinks will be the ball. Woody's alive. Then Chop finds the frag on Turtle. But Woody manages to deliver another frag to his team. And there's the man advantage once more. Walco. Along with Hex still standing, and Hex has gained a lot of space, unbeknownst to MIBR that he's here. This is going to come down to exit. He's been clutch for this team before. Clutch again, and he has no idea they're coming through the door. Oh, they snuck up on him entirely. The site's been lost oh, now. Go for this. Oh, what some aggression? Through the door, it works out for Walco. They don't need that aggression. They got it on the fight. Touch further, he probably could have connected for that frag. That said, Carpe Diem still has this long control to work with, and they're going to toss a couple of smokes here to ensure they can cross on over. MIBR have the read now. They got three players waiting, and that Molotov's good. The boost over the smoke's even better if Jota decides to retreat towards Gandalf, but he doesn't. They're backing off of this? They've only got one no, smoke there's now. There's no way. This is going to be interesting. 25 seconds. You got to go. You got to go. That smoke needs to come down. It does indeed, but there's still going to be a gap to be exploited. Wiz gets the shot on the player flat. Flashbangs will allow the players to cross, and there was a spot in towards CT, but they're passed. And they get the cap That's player. Huge. That's what you had to do. Cello's going to be able to pick up his gun and put it back into effect. But Cello and Exit can need to throw it here. It has to be done, and the rifle's not even at hand. Cello down for the count. It all comes to Exit. 1v3 required. He's making the move, but there's even utility to make his life difficult, to make his life uncomfortable. And he's hesitating. There's no time to spare. He doesn't have a kit. He's got to go on March's exit. Hoping for a fight. Hoping for a shot. Hoping for anything given. And Chop will give him one bullet. Right. All right. We're going to get contact in this pistol round. It's been a little bit. Mm -hmm. Here it goes. 45 seconds. Carpe Diem now playing with the time here. Taking a page out of MIBR's book, perhaps. But it does seem like they're going to funnel on in towards A. And now, MIBR going to make the move. Shot hit for Cello. He's got the bomb a second as well. He's looking for more. He's looking for more. Let's just shut this down. But Walko will give him what for. And that might be a path towards the bomb. Woody's still here, but he's down for the count. Exit into the fray. Needs to get it done as now the flank is on. If Exit can hold them, and he's been in the first, this would be huge. He's done enough. It's over. My memory. Well, it depends. Let a device handle my memory. I, I like to try and remember as much as possible so that I don't rely too much on that. But, you know, I'm trying to stay ahead of the machines, Mike. Well, see, I just move a lot of facts to my phone, and then the other facts can be filled with Counter-Strike knowledge. Nice exchange here towards <laughs> Monster. This position for Jota could be huge. There are players coming in to clear from the sewer tunnel, so this trade is rough, but oh. no! Jota has both! Not quick enough on it is Chop, and that's a bit of a catastrophe here for Carpe Diem. Wiz oh, they have B. Takes one. They've got the site, but there is still going to be a contest. There's a player out towards Graffiti that wants to make it easier. But going up on top, that's bold from Glacia. Wanted to clear water, and instead he goes down. The bomb is planted, but that's the end of that. Yeah, I'm wondering why they didn't go into the op as well. Maybe just trying to uh, ensure that their economy doesn't get hit too hard should they lose this round. And Jota is going to get the trade with Glacia, who opens things up on Cello. Hex has the space gained, and he goes to Pillar. He has a moment to take a shot, but the Molotov was pressuring him. Well, he has to back off here. Goes for the wall bang, doesn't connect on anything. 
And now he backs off into Monster once more. In the meantime, a trade happens on the other side of the map. Woody and Wiz exchanging frags to make it a 3v3. And now the space is going to be gained onto this A site. So I think Hex is just going to try and grab the bomb and join up with his teammates. But Exit finds Walco. He's been so strong. 10-0 and 0 now. They cannot find a way to frag him. And Carpe Diem lose whatever control they had of A. And now they're retreating back to the B site, which is the right call because there's only one player here, Mike. Yeah, it's going to be pressure on for Turtle. He's got support coming in, but a smoke in towards heaven could make that difficult. I'm not sure that that smoke landed. Here comes the execute, and Turtle has to just drop the bomb carrier. 30 seconds, they have to cross, and Turtle is counting on what he slipped in. And he's going to get the first oh. shot. Austin nicely done, finds the opening pick. Wiz down for the count. Here's Cello making some noise. Nade to chase. Nade to chase, nade to find, nade not quite to find. Smoke got out means that utility is going to be difficult. Turtle, meanwhile, has dealt with Classia elsewhere on the map. Carpe Diem getting nothing going here. It's another non-starter of a round. Some damage done, but no kills for it. But they have gained a remarkable amount of space over towards A. And look who's headed to meet them on A. It's the immortal man himself. <laughs> it's the boy who lived and then lived and then lived a couple more times. And so far, he's going to keep on living <laughs> as Cello has found contact instead. Turtle with the next, and it's all on to Chop. Can Chop get anything done here? Can he kill Exit? He would be the first contact. He would be the fight, and no, he cannot. Another kill for yeah, Exit. Gonna go. Yep, they're going to go. We're headed on towards B. We're headed on towards B. Yota will receive them here. Player jumps in towards water, and there's going to be the hit. That bomb plant will come through. They're making their way on over, and there's an opening pick for Hex. It's looking good so far, the initial. Oh, Unless wait. it hits your teammate. No. Less chunky then. Ironically, if it had actually stumbled out onto the balcony, it probably would have found a kill. Classy is stuck in the corner there, but that's not going to happen. Also, we'll force Chop out into the fight, but Classia finds that bounce player. Heaven now under control. It's all falling apart. They've got nothing for it. This could turn into a save, even though they have Boku bucks, just because they haven't been able to get anything through. Exit's finally died. And with that, Carpe Diem may win the round. It's been... Could be the key player here in the round for MIBR. He should find a fight with Classy, but Classy is waiting for it. Oh, such good patience from him. Making sure that... Is. No... Joseph's just going to do this dry. He, find, he finds the first. He's a reposition here. He's got not oh. more. Tons of damage, but that final bullet just couldn't land. Turtle tucked through the barrel. He's getting a ton of detail, but he's got to try and shoot his way out first before he can even deploy it. He's got all these nades. He's not using them. It's just going to be the guns, but Turtle's made it work. Turtle's made it work. That Molotov's deployed at a critical time. He's continuing to battle out. Can he get away? No. But he doesn't set up the trade either. That nade actually hits Jota more than it hits anyone else. But it does blow the doors open, which is the idea that he was going to go for this. Unfortunately, it opens the door straight to his death. He's down for the count. Chop limps away with one eight. Feels bad, man. Yeah, it's good there. This is getting meaty. It's getting aggressive in towards the Jota. site. Oh, and he's got some Otas, but he had to get down to get the shot up. Oh, only one. Turn him out suddenly. They're back in this in a big way, but he's playing safe. He's playing tough. Chello finds the first. There's last his position revealed. There's a player in water. They know both their spots. The D trying to find home, and it does indeed. It's all on to Classia, and he's down for the count. But is there because, time? I mean, I'd have to go and crunch the numbers, but I feel like when they go for the execute in the first minute, they're successful more often than not because mm. they have some really good firepower, some strong riflers on their squad that they can utilize more effectively on the T side. Woody is going to be on the defense. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Gets Bumble Wiz finds the trade, then Hex finds another. Such That's a, a lot of space. It's such aggressive posturing for MIBR, right? And they stuck around in mm -hmm. it. Player out towards Fountain. The problem was so, the position. Mm -hmm. Nah, nah, nah. 3,800. That's great. Well, Turtle's dead. I might need to save. <laughs> yeah, I think into it. Point. Time. Oh, oh okay. all right. Jota will save. One rifle's enough. Jota will swing. <laughs> he keeps trying to fight, but but one rifle. But it gets away from him. No harm, no foul. No one's dead yet. They have cleared connector, but look at this flank. Look at Classia. He's gone all the way around, and Wiz does eventually find that fight. And now Classia has a lot of backs turn. He's just spotted a leg. Just a hint of a leg. Oh no, Glacia! All that time, all that flank, none of the shots needed. At least not the killing blow. Unfortunate there, now this could get out of hand. RPD, I'm looking to hold the line. 
Trades are going not their way so far, and it looks like MIPR might want to back out and reroute towards B. It's got engagement A, so it's going to hold the players here in place, at least for a moment. But that's the wrong read. That's the wrong positioning. Walco is going to have to put in some work here if they're going to deny this bomb plant, and that's already not a possibility. Chop going to come in from heaven here. Walco pinching in from walkway. He could find Shello here. He's got the angle lined up, and there you go. Shello goes down. Walco goes to sandbags, but cannot hit the head of exit. That leaves Chop to try and clutch this one out in the 1v2. Goes around the corner, spots out exit for a moment, but cannot connect the shot. He's going to fake the defusal. Should draw some attention. Goes for the fight with exit once more. Exit down to zero here. Chop makes it a 1v1. Still has time. Immediately goes to the engagement, but Woody. Hey, she, with... right, that was an act of violence. So you've ruined the peace. You've ruined the truce. And now there must be bloodshed once more. Eat on the frag total as well, John. No start to the game. Has uh, led Carpe to more kills. Side. After that dust map, I, I thought, wow, okay, Carpe Diem's got a chance here, but. Uh, hmm. Has been uh, locked luster in the kitchen. He's being wrapped in the bathrooms and he will falter. And it's not looking good. It's looking downright disastrous. Classia trying to fight, trying to drag them back into this round. Oh, that bomb's still not planted. There is a chance here, but there's the spot. Hex gets away with that one. A risky peek and a kill found. Now they can pinch on in and these remain the two move, players. He's looked away at just the wrong moment. Hex looked to just get on that bomb and Woody's gone down in the bank. So now they're going to hop on the defuse. There's the shots out. They've there done it, it. They've done it. They're on the bomb just in the nick of time. No grains of sand to spare. Aggressive in it. He's taking the molly. Now they know he's here. Now they know he's here. He's still going to hit the shot. Close up. They're trying to chase, but he evades well, them. Even then, I don't know that they have time to even get back on. Be about enough damage here. And Chop does falter. Is the next target? He's out of play, but they cannot win it. It's just about taking guns out of the next round. Carpe holding up. on for now, and MIBR letting that time whittle down once more. 50 seconds. What's the utility look like for the CTs? There's no more mollies, so that's good. Mollies were the bane of MIBR's existence over on Inferno, <laughs> but oh, no one's got eyes towards playground and exit was trusted. It'd be clear it's anything but. So now it's gonna race about a zip code over. He's starting to gain ground. This kill out long could be huge. Is Turtle checking for it? Is Turtle checking seen it now? So, yep. Can't go back. Can't go through. Cleared out from the bank. Ota and Woody. Playing with time. Letting that tick away. Trying to hang on to that bomb. Wiz has the smoke. Oh no, Woody gets one and then Classia trades him out and Wiz finds Jota. Fine, so... But it's Classia from the barrel, so they'll have to deal with. The first thorn they need to plot. And they do. There we go. Woody pulls it right on out of the site. Now Chop down by the water. Can't find that kill. Had an opportunity. It's an opportunity lost. It's an opportunity missed. Now the site is lost with four players alive on it. This is a catastrophe. This is rough. Walco and Wiz will try and make this hero play. It's all under Wiz, and he's got a save. Remind you, they have no cash. This is going to be series point found for MIBR. It takes them so long to get here, but they won't have he any guns. And, and hit a shot, but a little too slow, too slow to react. He went down pretty much. Carpe Diem, though, still alive here. They're going to stack up towards Sandbags. Get one to continue to charge on four. Jota's very exposed, so he has to be careful. Woody supports the drop hex as they continue their charge on four. B site. Classia upgrades to the AK. And he's going to pull that one back. Doesn't want to re-engage too aggressively here with Jota. They're giving them the space. They want MIBR to come to them. Wiz's position is seven. Can he hit the shot? Trying no. to assert dominance in the last round, but Walco... Might have something to say about that. Evens up the numbers, and those deagles just walk up, dancing with death in the bank, and he's getting cashed in. Chopping the smoke. Lingering. He's gonna try and go for the risky fade shot. He's got it as well. That bomb's making its way oh. over, but it's been dropped. It's been dropped. It's all on to exit now. A 1v2. That bomb recovered. He's trying for it. He's got the first shot. He'll bring it down to the clutch and time enough to plant. Classia and exit. The 1v1 to decide it all. And Classia <laughs> finds the bomb. an issue here once again. Cello, tip of the spear. That shit would be huge if it worked out. Oh. 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 He's gonna push wow. them back. They're gonna run out of time. And Jota loses that fight. Exit and Cello, two huge kills. To make this possible, to soften this up, with only 25 seconds, they have to go. They have to go. It's all about these three up forward. Turtle finds the first. That might just get them a bomb plant here. And controlling the rotate. It's all under Hex now. Time or no, Hex needs to battle. You cannot deny this bomb. It's over. It's done. Wow. MIBR are the champions of ESL Challenger League Season 40. They've done it.
They've got the spot, John. They've got it all.